Hi, my name is Brittany and I'm addicted to liquid lipsticks. <laughs> What the fuck is up my britches? Today's video we're going to be decluttering my liquid lipstick collection. I'm just gonna sit down, go through all these, let you guys know my thoughts and opinions, and we're gonna have a massive swatch parte with these liquid lipsticks. So if you guys like declutter videos, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I am purging like my entire makeup collection at this point. So I'm just gonna pull you guys in a little bit closer and let's just jump into it and get started because we're gonna be here for a hot fucking minute. All right, so these first ones are going to be from Wet n Wild. These are the metallic matte liquid lipsticks from the Liquid Catsuit line. I don't believe any of these are available anymore, but I bought all four of these. This was like a mermaid collection that came out. So there's four really unique shades. This one's going to be Coral Crown, Harbor a Crush. This one was my favorite. This is Siren's Jewel. And then we have Sea Seduction. So this formula is not necessarily my favorite. My favorite one in this collection is this green one here. I just thought that was so unique. I actually might keep that because that's in still pretty good shape. But this just isn't my favorite formula. I mean, for being a liquid lipstick at the drugstore, these are nice, but they're just not my favorite. And I'm just not really a fan of metallic liquid lipsticks. That's just my personal preference. So I'm going to actually just keep this one, but I'm going to get rid of the other three just because I feel like this shade is just so unique. I can't wait to see how many of these fall on the floor throughout this entire video. All right, so these next ones are going to be from the original Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. So I think I have the entire range of these. I want to say I did a lip swatch video on these, but I could be wrong. Right off the bat, I'm going to take this one out right here. This is the shade Rebel Rose. I'm taking this one out because this is a brand new one I haven't even opened yet. This just kind of tells me it must not be that much of a favorite if I haven't reached for it yet, but I remember this shade being the favorite of this line. So I'm going to take this one out to keep this one, and then we'll get into swatching the rest of the collection. So this first one up is going to be Nudie Patootie. This reminds me so much of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I think it's called I'm Nude. Really pretty nude. It's just a little bit too light for me, but I remember liking this like over a lip liner if I wanted just a true, very nude liquid lipstick. This next one is going to be the shade Nudist Peach. Oh my God, this is tragic. That was not like that when I initially got it, but this one's really pretty, especially for spring. I feel like these dry out kind of fast, but I can't also remember when I actually purchased these. Next one is going to be the shade Pink Really Hard. Yeah, these are not nearly as like pigmented and flawless application as I remember them being. This one was another favorite of mine. This is Coral Corruption. Yeah, these are not in that good a shape right now. <laughs> and then this one here was my OG favorite. This is Rebel Rose. This is just like my perfect nude right there. It's so pretty. This one's going to be the shade Give Me Mocha. This was another one of my favorites. I mean, these aren't applying that terribly, but I would probably go out and just repurchase like some of my favorites, like especially Rebel Rose, which I don't have to do that because I already have one. This next one is Oh My Dolly. Like, look how bright pink that is. Oh. Ooh, that one's pretty good. Oh, this one I used to love too. This is Flame of the Game. Just like a true hot, like neon orange. Oh my God, so pretty. Oh my girl, as we always say on this channel. <laughs> this one's going to be very recognized. This is the one I remember it being very patchy applied on the lips, but the color of it's really pretty. And we have Missy and Fierce. This is gonna be your true, I would say this is like a blue based red, really pretty red. Yeah, it's like these are still in decent shape, but I know that these are old. Like I got these when they first launched. And then this one's going to be Video Vixen. This is another one. These are very patchy, like the darker that these shades are. This was one of my least favorites. And then the last one is going to be, I believe this was my absolute least favorite, was Goth Topic. I think the shade of it's really pretty, but it's just the formula on these. They're just not very pigmented at least on the lips, they go on very patchy. So that's going to be all of the liquid cat suits. I mean, I would still repurchase these. I'm gonna get rid of all these just because I don't wear them. And the one I do wear is Rebel Rose and I already have the backup of that one. So I think I would repurchase, I mean, some of them, but I mean, they're not my all time favorite formula. So maybe I would just go with a different brand anyways. This is one thing I will say about this liquid lipstick formula though is it will stay on for a really good amount of time because they do not want to budge when you're even taking them off with makeup remover, but they're just more drying on my lips. So that's what makes them not my favorite formula. All right, let's talk about some Ofra cosmetics. I'm surprised at how many of these I have, which these are going to be, these ones down here, these are going to be the new packaging on the Ofra cosmetics liquid lipsticks. All these ones are going to be older. So I do foresee myself probably getting rid of all these ones up here and then really focusing on these new packaging ones down here. So these first ones, I got these in like a holiday gift set or something like that. 
this is the type of stuff that I should buy when it comes to lip products because I just, I don't ever go through lip products. So I'll show you, this is gonna be the shade Venice. Ofra has by far one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas though. Next one's going to be Santa Ana. I love the formula on these because they're so comfortable on the lips and they're gonna have more of like a creamy, like almost like a moussey consistency, but they don't wear uncomfortably on the lips and they're very just, overall flattering on the lips. I don't know what it is about their formula. It just, it feels like a mousse on your lips and it's gonna last a lot longer throughout the day. I wouldn't say that they last like flawlessly all day long, but I mean, I get really good wear time out of these. Like anytime I'm filming weddings, I usually reach for these just because I love the formula and it's very just comfortable. It doesn't dry the shit out of my lips. And I mean, all those colors are really pretty. That last one was going to be the shade Rendezvous. And then the one before that was Atlantic City. So those are going to be the four from that kit. And I believe that all of these were permanent as well. I think my favorite one though is that Rendezvous shade that'd be so pretty in the spring and summer. Oh my gosh. I actually think I'm gonna keep these because they applied pretty well on my hand. Like I didn't experience any like patchiness or anything and everything feels relatively like it always does. Like they still smell good and everything. So I am actually gonna hang on to these ones for now. And then this is where I get a little bit confused. Like see how these ones here are smaller than these ones. I think these were like the original packaging and then they went to these smaller ones and then they went to these like squarish ones, you know? So I'm gonna start with these ones here. This is going to be the shade Staten Island. And I believe they have still all of these shades as well. That's just like a grungy, almost like a gray nude. I think that's so pretty. Would I wear this like ever? Probably not. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then I have the shade Brooklyn. I think these, oh, what? I forget why I got these. These were like a collaboration, I think, or something like that. That's just like a really pretty chocolate brown right there. And then this one's going to be the Kathleen Lights Havana Nights. Oh my God, do you guys remember this one? I used to have the original Miami Fever and like the original packaging. This one I'm gonna get rid of because that's pretty patchy. I don't remember it being like that. This is like a maroon chocolate brown. I think that's really pretty too, but it's just, it's time for that one to go. And then we have the shade Harlem. I really like this collection though. It's just nice, grungy, deep colors. That one actually still looks pretty good as well. I might keep all of those except for that Havana Nights from Kathleen Lights because that one applied pretty patchy. But these other three, those were actually still pretty good. So I'm going to hang on to those as well. You'll probably see right now like these do not budge on the lips. They might wear, but I mean, if you're looking for longevity, these are definitely a good formula to use. All right, this next one's going to be the shade Verona. I think I got this shade specifically in like a boxy charm or something like that. That's such a pretty shade. I think Ofra nails it for their liquid lipstick formula. I'm going to keep that one. Then I think these next few are going to be from the collaboration with Manny MUA. This one's going to be the shade Charmed. This one actually doesn't have a name on it, so I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty positive that this was in that Manny MUA collab. This one's gonna be the shade Hypno. And then this is gonna be the shade Aries. And then this was another one that I got in BoxyCharm. I just thought this was so unique. This is gonna be the shade Napa Valley, and this is going to have a metallic finish to it but it's not like an obnoxious metallic either. So I thought that was really pretty and really unique to my collection. So I actually think I'm going to keep, do I wanna keep all of them? I think I'm gonna keep all of these because they're still in pretty good shape. I'm actually surprised at how good a shape those are in right now. So all the Ofra ones are going to stay minus that Kathleen Light and then let me take these ones off and then I'll show you all these other ones that are going to be from the newer packaging. So this first one, I think this is another one I got in BoxyCharm. This is going to be the new version of the Kathleen Lights Miami Fever. I love the shade on this, especially like spring and summertime. I really enjoy that one, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then these last four are going to be from Samantha March's, both of her collabs. So I'll first start with the ones that came in the little set of three, not little set, these are full size. This is the shade Manila. I want to pair that next to this Staten Island shade. I think Staten Island's a little bit more like gray and grungy. Oh yeah, they're totally different. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to these ones. I have the shade Pasadena. This is another one from Samantha's trio that she had come out with. I think it was last year. That's such a pretty shade. Oh my God. That's like my most worn from this collection. And then the last one is going to be the shade Las Olas. I was honestly shocked that I liked this shade. I thought it was so, so pretty, especially when I'm a little bit more tanned. In the fall time too, that's one of my favorites. And I really like mixing that with Manila. But this shade Story, this is going to be Samantha's newest one. Oh my God, this is my favorite one that I think came out with the entire like Samantha March line. I mean, they're all beautiful, 
but story that is truly so so beautiful so i'm going to keep all these again over cosmetics has one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas so highly recommend these and i know they always have like 30 percent off with influencer codes and stuff like that so if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that is going to be a more comfortable long lasting finish and it looks very flattering on textured lips like i have a lot of like lines and stuff on my lips so I like my lips to look very flattered and these do that for me and I just think they wear so comfortably throughout the day. So once these dry down, like if you wipe them off when they're still wet, you're going to be able to wipe them off a lot easier. But when they're dried down, like they won't budge, but they'll wear very gracefully, which I'm a big fan of. Let's talk about these Sephora cream lip stains. I love these. I feel like these are so underrated. This first one is going to be the shade number 37. Oh my God. I just love these. They remind me actually a lot of the Ofra Cosmetics formula. They're very comfortable on the lips. They're very long lasting. I love the way that they smell too. Like both the Ofra ones and these Sephora ones smell so good. This next one is going to be the shade number 23. This one's going to be the shade number 13. This is probably my most worn is number 13. Next one's going to be number 14. I actually might... Oh, no, that still looks all right. I was going to get rid of this one, but we're going to keep it because that's still one of my favorite shades. And then these two I got, I think, last year for spring and summer. This first one's going to be the shade number 9. Like, tell me how freaking vibrant. Oh, my God. Look at how beautiful that is right there. I love this shade for spring and summer. And then this last one's going to be the shade number three. I think this is described as like a, a strawberry pink or a strawberry red. So beautiful, so stunning. I love the formula on these. They do remind me a lot of the Ofra Cosmetics ones and they're still all in good shape, so I'm going to keep all of these. Okay, who remembers these Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks? I feel like these were like the very first liquid lipsticks on the market and everybody used to talk about these. I'm intending to declutter like all these because I know how old these are, but I mean, if they surprise me and they still feel good, I'll keep them. But these, oh my god, I used to love the formula on these. This is going to be the shade Sad Girl. Oh my god, I feel like everybody had this one, but that is long overdue. I definitely am going to be getting rid of that one. I also have the shade Paint. This is like the first unique. Oh my god, that's still in actually really good shape. Oh my god, for how old these are. I think this is one of the last ones that I had purchased. American Doll, I feel like this was like everybody's go-to red for the longest time. <laughs> I remember everybody pronouncing this one wrong. This is Persimmon, I think is how you pronounce it. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's another one. I would keep that, but it definitely spells expired. Wow, I'm like so shocked at how these are still swatching so nice. Oh, the smell is what's gonna get me to declutter like all these. This is gonna be the shade Sepia. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> oh my God, these look so nice, but man, they just, they do not smell the best right now. They just, they very much smell expired. This one's going to be the most used one that I had in my collection. This is the shade Lovely. I feel like this was like a go-to bridal liquid lipstick for so many people. This one was from the newer launch that they had. This is the shade Catherine. Oh my god, that's such a me shade right there. That one smells expired too, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one actually still smells okay. I bought this one later, like way after the collection had launched, the shade Ashton. I think that's so pretty. I really like that shade, so I'm going to hang on to that one. I'm kind of shocked at myself for buying this one. This is gonna be baby pink. Definitely getting rid of this one because, I mean, that's an oldie right there. <laughs> I don't think I ever even wore this. This is Sweet Talker. That looks so nice. Oh my God, oh, totally smells expired though. So we're gonna get rid of that one. See, this is why I need to start buying mini sizes because look how many <laughs> I bought that I barely even used. This is the shade Heathers, I believe. This, actually this one I think is my most used. I feel like everybody lost their shit over this liquid lipstick. So pretty, but definitely expired. So we're gonna get rid of that one. I might need to like reinvest in some more of these. ABH liquid lipsticks. Veronica though, this was the one I feel like everybody had talked about. I know I probably have so many other shades in my collection just like this, but you could not find this shade everywhere and I feel like everybody was wearing it. That actually smells expired, so I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. And then this last one is just going to be your traditional black liquid lipstick. That's the shade Midnight. Really nice, really opaque, but I mean, it's expired, so 
we're gonna get rid of most of these. The only two that I'm going to keep are the shade Ashton and Paint. No, Paint we're gonna get rid of. I'm just gonna keep the shade Ashton. Paint definitely smells expired. All right, let's talk about some Lunar Beauty. These are some of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. I wear this probably the most out of like all of my lipsticks in my collection. This is gonna be the shade Daydream. The formula on these, these aren't gonna be like your long lasting liquid lipsticks, but these are going to be so incredibly comfortable on your lips. And the formula, the scent of them, oh my God, is so amazing. I really love this one. This is like my perfect nude. But my favorite thing about this is how comfortable these are on your lips. This will be the shade Witch Bitch. This is from the Moonspell collection. It's just a really pretty blood red. Oh my God, I love these. I love the packaging on these as well. I think he just does liquid lipstick so right. This is going to be the shade Dreamsicle. I know I'm gonna wear the shit out of this for the spring and summer. Like look how just coral and neon. Oh, it looks so good. I just, again, I love the formula on these. And then the last one is going to be the shade Wicked. This is going to be my favorite black liquid lipstick. Actually, it's the only black liquid lipstick I now own. Now that the Anastasia Beverly Hills one is gone. This one is going to be one you need to layer a lot more. But again, these don't dry down, so they're not gonna be as long lasting as your traditional liquid lipstick, like the Ofer one or the Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are going to wear a lot more gracefully, but they're gonna be a lot more comfortable on the lips, but you will have to reapply them throughout the day. So these aren't going nowhere. Again, I love the formula. I love the packaging, like so, so stunning. I cannot wait to see what Manny has in store for Lunar Beauty because I know he's got something else coming out and I can't wait. These next ones are going to be from Buxom. I can't even remember the exact name of them. The Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. So these are going to be like a liquid lipstick and a gloss in one. I am a huge fan of these. This first one's going to be the shade Come to Dolly. I think, was this the first one I ever got? I'm such a glossy bitch. I love a good glossy lip and oh my god, just look at how shiny these are. These I feel like were so underrated for such a long time. I usually get these when Ulta has like their 21 Days of Beauty because they usually feature these in there. I just think the shades on these are so pretty but the shine is what I love so much about those. So that's going to be the shade lights down was that second one right there. I don't know if Come to Dolly or this one. This is going to be the shade Beg for Mauve. I think I don't know, was one of these two, one of these two outer ones were the first one that I had bought and then I liked it so much that I ended up getting more of them. So these are going to be all the shades that I have in the Buxom Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipsticks and I'm definitely not getting rid of any of these because I'm a huge fan. All right, these next ones are going to be from Gerard Cosmetics. These I believe were all gifted to me because I was given a store credit from Jen Gerard and Gerard Cosmetics. So I have four of the Hydro Mats. This first one is going to be the shade 1995 and I love the shade on that so much. That's like your Kylie Jenner, like traditional Kylie Jenner lip, you know, the one that everybody lost their shit over. That's the look that I get from this on my lips. I also have the shade 90210. This one I actually purchased and because I like the formula of this so much, this is going to be not as comfortable on the lips, but this was the reason why I ended up getting more of these when I was issued that store credit because I just, I really like the formula on these and I always go into like a liquid lipstick knowing it's gonna be more drying on my lips, you know? I also have the shade Immortal. This just looks like your perfect red. Oh my gosh, I love these blue base reds. They make my teeth look so shiny and white. So that one is super pretty. And then I also have the shade Mudslide. I should probably pair my Ofra Cosmetics next to some of these because I could probably declutter those because I could probably dupe them with what I already have. Like this one reminds me of, what was it, Brooklyn, I think. But I really like the formula of these. I think these are very comfortable on the lips. They are just a little bit more drying, but I'm still a huge fan of these, so I'm going to keep all those because they're relatively new for me. All right, these next ones are going to be from Ardell. These are the Metallic Liquid Lip Cream. I'm gonna get rid of both of these because I don't ever reach for these. These were actually sent to me from, I believe Sally Beauty was who sent these to me. Again, I'm just not really a big fan of metallic liquid lips. I'm not really sure why. I thought these were super cute. These came in like a liquid lipstick duo or something like that. Like I think they had a gloss that came with them as well. Like I really liked them when I first got them. They kind of remind me like consistency wise of the Ofer ones, but I just, I have other ones in my collection that I prefer over these ones. So I am going to be decluttering these two. I totally forgot that I had these. These are from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I didn't think I had ever tried this brand before. I'm gonna get rid of both of these because I already know that I'm not a fan of these. I have two shades, obviously, because that's all that I'm holding, but this is going to be the shade Scream Queen, and then I also have the shade Cherry Cola. 
I just remember not liking this formula on my lips and I really don't like the applicator and that's why right there like I always make a mess out of these paddle type applicators I'm just not a fan I don't know what it is even for glosses I'm just not a fan of the paddle tip I like the paddle for more like concealers and stuff I'm just more of a fan of other applicators that's just my preference but I even remember this formula just being very patchy on my lips so I'm going to declutter both of these and I've had them for oh my god so long now so I'm gonna say bye to give me glow cosmetics for right now but I do need to try more from this brand because I always hear amazing things about them now let's talk about some Jeffree Star cosmetics these were probably my number one in my collection for the longest time but I feel that these dry out so insanely fast so i have five of them from i think this was like the christmas collection from like two years ago or something like that and then this is going to be all the shades that i have from his permanent line i thought i remember having more of these but i mean who knows at this point but i'll start with the shade drug lord this was like the very first white liquid lipstick probably ever on the market but it's definitely not what it once was like it looks super opaque right there in person though this is so patchy and it was not like that before so I'm going to declutter probably all of these I mean these limited edition ones this is the shade mistletoe I believe he brought this set back this year the smell of them is just what I noticed the most this next one was probably the most sought after liquid lipstick he's ever come out with but this is so dried out it's ridiculous this is the shade androgyny this was my second favorite that he's ever done and I believe this is now permanent. So I actually might repurchase that one because I really did love that one. This next one is going to be Ho Ho Ho. This is another one that's so dried out like it never applied like that. But that's what I'm talking about. Like these dry out so fast, which these are still old, but just compared to like the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones that I was just using, like those are still like they feel like they're brand new. Same with this one here, like it's so patchy and just bleh. So I'm going to get rid of all of those from the original like limited edition Christmas collection. But just so you know, if you've never tried Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I would say he has a pretty comfortable formula. This is gonna be the shade I'm nude. His formula is pretty comfortable, but I just think over time, I've just come to like more flattering formulas on my lips personally. Like I'm nude, I never wear that color because it just does not look that flattering on me. This shade right here though, I have probably worn this more than anything in my collection. The shade Celebrity Skin, but I'm gonna buy a new one of these because that's old as hell. And it doesn't really glide on as effortlessly as I remember it once doing. Uh, this next shade is going to be the shade Posh Spice, another one. I just, I don't know why I never use this. It has like a grayish, brownish, almost like olive tone to it. It's really pretty. This one actually is in pretty good shape, so I'll hang on to this one. I also have the shade Gemini. I think I got this in my like, what was it, the mystery box. That one's still in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna keep that one as well. I think that shade's really pretty. It's got like a slight terracotta tone to it. Oh my God, I'm just so like shocked at how just unique that shade is right there. This next one's gonna be the shade Leo. I thought this one was really pretty as well. This one's gonna be just basically a deeper version of the shade Leo in my opinion, and it's a little bit more brown tone. <sighs> That one feels a little bit dried out, so I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Uh, this next one is gonna be the shade Scorpio. I love this, but this has definitely got to go. I need to get a new one of these ones as well. I need to start buying these like mini lip sets that he does because that shade right there, I think he nails it when it comes to his shade range. It's just, I don't ever go through these, so I don't know why I keep buying full size. This next one is gonna be the shade Prom Night. I feel like this, I mean, this should have been called like Jeffree Star, because that just reminds me of Jeffree right there. I was totally out of the frame when I was watching that, but that's just going to be a more patchy hot pink for me. Like I think the, what was it, the liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild, I think it resembles that one so much. Even the formula I think on these are very similar. Uh, this next one is going to be the shade Jawbreaker. Jocelyn wore the shit out of this one, so I'm going to get rid of this one, but just look at the unique shades that he has. I think that's where Jeffrey really nails it, is just the uniqueness that he has with his collection. Again, I'm gonna stop buying these full size and just buy the little kits that he comes out with because, these are so stinking good. That's the shade Rich Blood, which you can't even see the true pigment in that. That's so dried out. And then this last one is gonna be the shade Blue Velvet. This is another one, it's dried out so bad. But these, like when you first get these, they're so creamy, they're so pigmented. It's like one swipe application. Like these swatches are doing these no justice just because of how old they are. But I'm going to keep two out of all the ones that I had and all the other ones are just gonna get thrown out because I mean, it's time to retire them, it's time to go. But the shades on them is still super cute. All right, these next ones are going to be from Carity. These were all sent to me in PR and I used them a couple times. 
I just wasn't really a fan of these. The formula wasn't my favorite and then the applicator it was really really tiny which isn't a bad thing it's just for my preference, these really didn't just call to my name too much. This next one is going to be the shade Kiera. I should probably try these again. These just have a more, I would say like wet type of formula to them and they're not as pigmented. Like I feel like you have to really build these up and for liquid lipsticks, I don't really like to build them up. I think that's what I really didn't like about them. But this next one's going to be the shade Tamar. I really did like the shade of this one. I thought it was really pretty. But it's like I just felt like I had to keep going over the certain areas to get like an even application, you know? And again, it's just one of those things. I have very like liney textured lips and I don't want to keep building up product on my lips when I'd rather have like something wet and swipe application, you know? This next one's going to be my favorite shade out of all of them, the shade Fade Out. This one I remember I wore quite a bit and I really did like it. This was the standout one for me. So if I were to recommend any from this formula, like if you like a more wet buildable formula, this shade is absolutely beautiful. I really, really like that shade right there. I'm actually going to keep that one right there. Tea Leaves is another one I really did enjoy, but I just found I had to build it up a lot to get it to be fully opaque. It just applied very patchy for me. Like when I'm swatching these, I'm like, oh, why didn't I really like these? But I just, I remember back and I was like, eh, I'm just really not a fan of the formula. This next one's going to be Tick Tick Boom. I actually debated on doing a lip swatch video when I first got these and I just never got around to it because I wasn't really committed to YouTube at the time. And then this next one is going to be the shade Candied. This is going to be your true like candy apple red. Yeah, it's like these are swatching so nice. Maybe I should keep all of these and try them on my lips again to see if I enjoy them. And then this is going to be the shade Soho. I remember this one applying very patchy on my lips, but... Yeah, it's like so bizarre, like they're swatching so nice on my hand. I don't know, maybe I'll keep these for now. I think I'm actually going to hang on to these because I probably should try them on my lips because they're swatching very, very nicely on my hand. So I'm going to keep all of them for now. I'll try them on my lips, but I'm even noticing though, as they're drying down, I'm seeing the streakiness. <sighs> I'll hang on to them for now. I'll test them on my lips. I'll see how I like them. And then if I don't like them, I'll get rid of them after. So for now, we'll keep these but I could see myself decluttering these in the future. All right let's talk about some unique liquid lipsticks. These were probably my favorite thing that I tried from Unique. I thought the formula on these were really solid. I really liked the packaging on them and they performed so beautifully and one of these shades was like my favorite in my collection for the longest time. So this first one is going to be the shade Secure. I believe I got this when I purchased like a I don't even know. They have like bundle packages every so often. So I bought a bundle with like this, a blush and one other product, but I'm going to get rid of this one because it's going to be a metallic formula and I'm just not really a fan and it's a little bit more dried out. But this shade right here, this was like my best in beauty for I think 2018 or 2017. This is the shade Stellar from their liquid lipstick line. It's going to be a matte formula like that I use the shit out of. You could probably tell just by the applicator, but this does not perform at all the same. Like when I first got these, I hated the applicator, but the more that I used it, the more I enjoyed it. But the shade on this was my perfect nude. It actually looks a lot more brown. So I think over time it's changed a little bit, but I would 100% repurchase that because I fucking loved this liquid lipstick formula for the longest time. And then this is going to be the shade Soulful. I believe this one was gifted to me by my friend. She is a rep for Unique, but look at how beautiful that shade is right there. I love it. This is going to be a more, I would say like a thicker formula, but it's still really comfortable on the lips. It kind of reminds me of Ofra Cosmetics. It's just a little bit thicker than Ofra. And then this last one is going to be the shade Stubborn. This was also gifted to me. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I love those two shades right there. I'm going to get rid of all these though, because I feel like these two shades specifically, I could dupe with what I have in my Sephora collection or just what I have in my collection already. This actually reminds me, now that I'm looking at it, it kind of reminds me of Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So that would not surprise me at all if that was why I like this formula so much. So since these are pretty old and they're not performing the way that I remember them performing, I'm going to get rid of all of my unique liquid lipsticks. Cruising right along, let's talk about some Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors has some of my favorite shades when it comes to like nude liquid lipsticks, but I think their whole range is beautiful. I really like the 
just I really like their formulas and everything so let's start off with truffle this is gonna be just like your basic nude liquid lipstick I really love the formula like I said I do need to get rid of this one though because it's getting kind of funky on the inside and then the applicator is pretty dry but this one was one that I use all the time especially if I did bridal looks or like bridal parties I always would use those of colors this next one is definitely my most used right here this is the shade stone I remember Amanda Ensing would always be talking about this shade. I'm going to keep this one right here because that's like fresh. Oh my god, it's so pretty. One of my favorite liquid lipsticks in my entire collection. I have a common thing that I like with my like liquid lipstick shades or just like my lip shades in general. This next one's going to be the shade Play It Cool. This one's a little bit dried out. I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. It's just a cooler tone nude. It's really, really beautiful, but it's just not really performing the way I remember it. This next one here, I got this, I think, during like 21 Days of Beauty. This is the shade Campfire. So this one's pretty new, so I'm going to hang on to this one as well. I don't know where the sticker went on this one, but I believe this is called Kiss of Fire. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh my god. I'm sure I have this already in my collection, but since I love this formula so much and it's pretty new, I'm going to keep this one because I think that will come in clutch for this spring and summer. And then I also have the shade Date Night. I just thought this was so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think I actually might have gotten this in a boxy charm and I was like, oh yeah, because I love this formula so much. Just a pretty red. Ooh. Oh my god, I love it. And then this next one is going to be the shade Chocolate Wasted. I think this was like the third shade that I had ever gotten in this formula. And I love the applicator that Dose of Color has on these because it's like a doe foot applicator, but it's got like a little divot where it sits on your lips. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it that well. But this is one of my favorite applicators, and I think like Jeffree Star has a very similar um, applicator as well. Like the packaging between Jeffree Star, Dose of Colors, and the wet and wild liquid cat suits it's all so similar so i'm going to keep this one and then these are going to be from the desi times katie collection they have the shade what was this one savage this is going to be like a dark purple oh my god this is so beautiful the applicator on these are different than the original but i'm going to keep both of these just because i love katie and desi with like my whole entire heart and then they have the shade hot fire which i want to swatch this next to kiss of fire because i feel like these are so similar but this shade is actually going to be just a tiny bit more orange than kiss of fire kiss of fire has a little bit more like pinky red in it this is going to be more of a true orange so another one i'm going to hang on to so i'm going to just get rid of two from the dose of colors just because they're a little bit more dried out and this one like you can see on the inside it's got like bubbles and shit all in it we're gonna get rid of those two. All right, Kylie Cosmetics. This is from the Coco collection. And I think I've worn these like one time. I'm like, why do I still have these? So this is going to be the shade Close, I believe. I think this is a liquid lipstick. Let's go on and see. I, I don't really support Kylie Cosmetics because I'm just like, okay, I'll just buy ColourPop because I feel like their like formulas and everything are so similar. That shade is really pretty. I don't know, I really like the packaging. I think that's what really got me with this entire collection, but it is it is essentially like ColourPop. This is the shade Gorge, and I'm just not really a fan. Like, that one's so patchy. We're definitely getting rid of that one. That is like a train wreck right there. That kind of reminded me of, like, the Stila formula, which we'll get to that later. But ultimately, these remind me so much of just ColourPop. And then this last one is going to be the shade Oak. This here is such a pretty shade. I actually might keep that because I don't think that I have that exact shade like in any of my collection that's really pretty okay i might keep that one we'll see if i reach for that in the spring and summer and then if not i'll declutter it after but again i would not recommend purchasing the kylie cosmetics liquid lipsticks i would much rather purchase from ColourPop just because they're so much more affordable but i get so overwhelmed with ColourPop's website so i'm gonna keep the shade oh and then I'm gonna get rid of these other two. I knew I had another one of these. This is Gerard Cosmetics, the Hydra Matte. This is gonna be the shade Skinny Dip. This is the very first one that I had gotten. So I was wrong on both parties. So we're gonna keep this one as well. I would say this is more of like a cool toned nude. It's got a little bit more brown to it, but really pretty. Gonna keep this one. All right, let me get these Fenty out of the way. These are going to be the Stunna Lip Paints. I have the shade Uncuffed and Unbuttoned. Uncuffed is... I would say if I were to choose like one favorite liquid lipstick in my collection, this would probably be it because I wear the shit out of this one. Oh my god, so nice and the packaging is so fucking bougie on these. This shade Unbutton, I don't really reach for that often, but if I need to lighten up any shade and I want it to be a little bit more nude, that's the one that I reach for. So 
definitely hanging on to both of these. Like for 20 bucks, the packaging on these, like these feel so luxurious. So I will probably own like this entire line just because I like the formula. I like the applicator. I like everything about these. And then just the packaging being so fucking bougie. Love those. Let's talk about Miss Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Beauty, which I, we won't even get started. These are going to be the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I first have the shade Backstage Bambi and this is tragic. Oh my God. Did you just see like the fuzz that came? Like, look at, oh my God, we're, we're done here. That is horrible. These are so old. Oh my gosh. I remember these are so pigmented, but these as a formula are so freaking drying on my lips. This is the shade Bow and Arrow. Like when I didn't know any better and I didn't really have much experience with liquid lipsticks, I love these. But then I was like, oh my God, these are so drying on my lips. I really like the shade of that, but since I don't like the formula, I'm not going to keep it. And then this is going to be the shade Lolita 2, which Lolita is like the most sought after liquid lipstick, I feel like in this entire line. So she came out with a number two. I really like the shade on this. It kind of reminds me of Leo or Gemini from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Yeah, I would not purchase from this line though. I don't really like the formula. I think it's very drying on the lips, so I'm going to get rid of all of those. Let's talk about some Too Faced. I have two of the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. Oh my god, these are so old. I have Melted Fig and Melted Sugar, so I'll do Melted fig first. I mean, I like the idea of these because I thought they were so pretty on the lips because they gave me almost like that buxom, like the Vava Va Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. They kind of gave me that vibe, but I just, I don't know. I don't really know why I didn't end up reaching for these long term, but this is going to be the shade, what was it, Melted Sugar. The shades on these are so beautiful, but these are so freaking old. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. But I overall really enjoyed these though. Like I really like the applicator. Like I don't know why I'm such a fan of the sponge tip applicator. Even with my like face products like the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wands. I don't know why I love it so much. But these are beautiful. I would be interested to try these again. But I don't even know if these are available anymore. So I'm going to get rid of both of those ones. And then keep a lookout if they end up coming out with new ones. Or if they're still available or whatever. And then these are going to be the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are going to be the long wear formula. So this is going to be the shade Queen Bee and I feel like this is like the most talked about shade. Such a beautiful shade. This is more of a drying formula I would say, but I don't mind it. It's still a really nice formula, at least for me. Like I don't mind if my lips are a little bit more dried out. This is going to be the shade Sellout. It's more of just if it dries out my lips and it makes my lips look like garbage, but these don't do that. These still make my lips look healthy and everything. And then I just really like how long wearing this formula is. And then this is going to be from, I think this was the Candy Johnson collab. This is the shade Freshly Baked. I wish that I had bought in more of these because I just, I love the shades that she did with this line. So I'm going to keep all three of these and I think they're all gorgeous, but you see the difference between them. I like the finish personally of these other ones, but if I'm looking for a matte, I would still go for this formula here. I just think some of the shades in this line are a little bit funky because I remember getting a couple more of these and I ended up returning them because I just wasn't really a fan, but I don't know. I'm like looking at these two here. I'm like, do I want to get rid of that? I kind of want to reach for them more. I might keep those. Yep. I kept them. All right. So these next ones are going to be from Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Lip Collection. I'm not going to swatch these. I know for a fact that I have a lip swatch video on these. Don't mind the cringiness of that video, but I just want to go through them and keep the ones that I know that I will wear. And that is going to be Fight Free Reticles, Tulip Treatment, and I think I'm going to keep this, I think it's Magento Formula. All these other ones though, Coral Minerals I'm going to keep too, but all these other ones though I just don't reach for. I do not recommend like any of the deeper shades within this formula. My favorite of all of them is Fight Free Reticles. I think this is the most beautiful red. Oh my god, and I love the applicator on these. It has like that tulip head applicator. It's just the most perfect red. Oh my god, I love these so much. And they are getting a little bit old, so I'm just going to keep the ones that I know that I will use. And that is these four right here because they're so perfect for spring and summer. I wish that they had a better selection of the nudes with this collection. Like, let me swatch this bear with me because I haven't looked at this one in a hot minute. Like, okay, it's pretty, but I know that I have so many in my collection already that look probably so similar to this. Like, this lip formula is so nice. It's just get the shades that call to you the most. 
which that's what these are for me. So I'm going to keep these ones here. And if you guys want to see a full on lip swatch video of these, I will leave a card for it just so you guys can go take a look at that. But again, don't judge me for how cringy the, you know, video is. Okay. Okay, so I just went through all these and I wasn't recording. So these are these Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. Listen, I'm devastated because I just went through and swatched them all. They're all dried out. These are some of my favorite formulas for liquid lipsticks. I have hair all over the place. I have to get rid of all these though because they're so dried out. But I don't want these swatches to persuade you that these aren't good. This is one of my favorite formulas and I love the fact that they have the Tulip Head Applicator. That's like my favorite applicator when it comes to liquid lipsticks. So I highly recommend these. I would absolutely repurchase them. And my favorite shade is, is this Chill Zone. I felt like this shade was so unique, but I want to show you guys this Exotic Fixin liquid lipstick. The formula of this is totally different. I would say the Smashbox resembles more of like Jeffree Star Cosmetics formula. Whereas this Exotic Fixin, I just want to show you for a shade reference for if you like the shade Chill Zone. I just felt like this shade was so unique. So this is going to be the shade Gray from Exotic Fixin. I wanted to show them next to each other because this is just an individual shade. Like I don't have anything else from this brand, but it is going to be different than Chill Zone. But just to give you guys a swatch of that, but I just didn't want to show you guys swatches because it do they don't perform like this at all. My favorite shades though are Chill Zone. And then also this one right here is going to be the shade Out Loud. I feel like this is so unique. It's going to be this one right here. Highly recommend this formula though, but I am going to get rid of all of these and I'm going to be keeping this Exotic Fixin liquid lipstick because I think this is so pretty. I'm just going to get these out of the way because I already have a full dedicated video to these of another lip swatch video. I'm a huge fan of lip swatch videos, so if there's any other ones that you guys want to see, let me know. But I'm going to just keep a select few of these just because I don't know if this formula is even available anymore, but there's some that I always reach for, like the shade Quick Step right here. I always reach for this one. These apply almost like a stain, like they're called a showstopper cream stain. So they're going to apply like a thin formula, but very buildable and very comfortable on the lips. So I'm a huge fan of these. So I'm going to keep the shade Quick Step. I want to keep the shade Tango. I also want to keep the shade Salsa. I think I want to keep the shade Cha Cha, Moonwalk, Mambo. I think that's all of them that I'm going to keep. The darker shades in this collection, they're not my favorite because they do apply a lot more patchy. So I think I'm just going to keep the very like springy vibes. I'm going to keep these three here and then the shade Quick Step. Oh, do I want to keep more than that? I don't know. I don't reach for these that often, but when I do, I'm like, why don't I wear these more? Because I really like how they're that more of a stain finish, you know? I'm like borderline considering keeping everything, but I don't reach for them. Like I'm considering keeping do -Si do and Waltz as well because I do reach for these more often. It's basically the darker shades that I don't want to keep because I just, I don't see a point in that because I don't like them. You know what, fuck it. I'm going to keep these two and I'm going to keep these two brighter ones as well. And then all these other ones, I'm going to get rid of these ones. Okay, so we're going to probably keep half, a little bit more than half. And then I'm going to get rid of those ones right there. All right, we'll just get this one out of the way. This is the YSL. I think these are called like the Tattoos couture they're like a basically like a bougie ass cream stain okay i just i love these i mentioned these in my sephora recommendations video for this spring summer vib sale they're just a light wash of color and it serves as a stain but they're so buildable to give you that full coverage finish if you do multiple layers of this but my favorite thing is how these aren't drying on the lips it just it feels like there's nothing on there so i'm a huge fan of these the Showstopper Cream Stains from Makeup Geek remind me a lot of these though. So I would recommend both. It's just be very selective with the shade that you choose when it comes to the Makeup Geek line. But this shade specifically, this is the number 13. Huge fan of this for spring and summer. All right, let's talk about ColourPop. I'm probably going to get rid of most of these because I'm just not really a ColourPop fan of their lip products. So let's just blaze through these. So I have the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Mess Around. Yeah, it's just like the formula on these. Like, I really like the satin lips. Their website just really overwhelms me for one. But the formula on these, they just get so funky so quick for me. I also have the shade Beeper. I think this is in the matte formula, but I can't read like all the you know, the wording kind of like fades off super quick. I just think, I don't know, like I get it. People like ColourPop because they are a more affordable brand. I just get so overwhelmed by their website and their ultra, I think it's the ultra matte. These dry out my lips so badly. So I'm going to get rid of Beeper, but this is going to be another, I don't even know what the hell this is. This is Finders Keepers. I don't know if this is a gloss or whatever, but it's so funky. Like 
the formula is so just bleh to me. This is actually, it's a gloss. I'm gonna throw this in my lip gloss box. So we're gonna disregard that for today's video. But this next one, I got this in, oh my God, I got this in BoxyCharm. This is the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Notion. This is tragic. Like it is so just wet and messy and it bleeds so badly. Like the shade on this is beautiful, but it's just a hot ass mess. So I'm definitely getting rid of that one. This was probably my favorite thing that they had done. Like, I really liked this line. This was the um, collaboration with I Love Sata E. This is going to be the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade 951. I think if I were to buy anything from ColourPop, it would be the Ultra Satin Lips, just because I feel like they're the most flattering on my lips, and they're just, you know, they kind of remind me of, like, the Lunar Beauty liquid lipstick, and that is, uh, again, like a favorite of mine. So I think I'm going to keep this one, and then I also really love the shade Arriba. This is another ultra satin lip. Even though I wouldn't typically wear a red in a non, like, almost like a matte formula, I just, I really like how poppy and just beautiful that shade is. So I think I'm going to keep that for spring and summer. If I don't reach for these, then I'll eventually declutter them, but I just find more missed products with ColourPop than hit products. And then this last one is going to be an other ultra satin lip in the shade Little Stituous. And I think I got this one in BoxyCharm as well. Now, here's the dealio with this one, and this is why I'm getting rid of it. Like, I don't know if you could see it in the cap here, how it's like a bright pink. That's how this wears on my lips. Like, this will turn to a hot-ass pink on my lips, and I don't understand it. So that's another thing. I'm just like, what the hell's going on with this formula? So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. So the only ones that I'm going to be keeping are the two from the I Love Sata E collection. So I just haven't had the best luck with ColourPop, but I see the like appeal that people have with them. I like the fact that they're their own lab. Like there's a lot of things that I like about them, but also a lot of things that I don't like that, about them because I feel like they are very inconsistent. At least that's the experience that I've had. But I mean, if I tried them more maybe my thoughts will change but i just haven't had the best luck so i'm just gonna keep these two right here all right let's talk about some real her so i have three liquid lipsticks i'm not sure like when the packaging and everything changed but i'm pretty sure like this is the newer packaging i could be wrong though but this packaging here reminds me a lot of the um unique liquid lipstick formula this is going to be the shade oh no this is a lip gloss <laughs> i'm gonna move this to my lip gloss video so we'll come back to that at a later date. So these are going to be two liquid lipsticks. So these are going to be the Lady Love liquid lipstick. I have the shades I Will Succeed and I Am Tough. This brand always screws me up because they're <laughs> the way that they name things always just is like different than what you expect. Like you expect the name to be on the bottom, but it's always on the side or something like that. So I think the formula of these is nice. I haven't tried this brand a lot. I don't know why. Like I just... I don't know if I just get like turned off by them, but anything I've gotten from them, because I usually get them in BoxyCharm, I think like, I'm always like, okay, this stuff's okay. Like this red one is a little bit more patchy, but I don't know. They're just a brand that doesn't really call to me that much. Like I love the message behind their brand. It's just, I think their packaging is kind of like meh to me. I don't know. I think I need to try this brand more. They just haven't really come out with anything that really speaks to me. So I think I'm going to get rid of both of these just because I have a million other I mean liquid lipsticks that look just like this so let's get rid of these ones oh my god these ones here I have to swatch this one I have another lip swatch video on these I don't even think these are available anymore and that's a goddamn tragedy so I just want to show you guys the shade penny I think this is the right one I fell so hard in love with these this is probably so dried out and I'm probably gonna disappoint myself I'm not gonna swatch all of them but this shade penny oh my god this just spoke to me I can remember going in Sephora and I'm like, oh, these are really pretty. And remember how I said I wasn't like a metallic liquid lipstick person? These changed the game for me because they're a metallic liquid lip, but they have a gloss on the other side. And oh my God, this shade specifically made me go out and buy the whole entire range. I ended up decluttering like the rest of the range over the year, but this shade specifically like, oh my God. How are these no longer available? I'm not getting rid of these because I think they're so gorgina. I know they have like, what is it? Like individual eyeshadows like these now. I think that's what they are. Oh my God, this shade though, I swatched it in store. I walked around and I could not stop staring at it. Like just look at it. Oh my God, these are so beautiful. I wonder if they're still available on the Touch and Soul website. But if you find like, I'm telling you the shade Penny, 
is so beautiful but if you guys want to watch a full lip swatch video on these as well they're gorgina i think they're so unique and i just i love these and i love the fact that they have the gloss that goes with it so even though i'm not a metallic ass bitch when it comes to lip products that often these oh my god they just hold like such a special place in my heart i don't know why but i'm not getting rid of either of these i have the shade penny Maria and Lucy, and I love them all. All right, I'm just gonna rapid fire through these last few. Oh my God, we're almost done. The Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick from Stila. I don't understand why people say these are good, quite frankly, because I mean, that looks beautiful right there, but on the lips, it's a goddamn tragedy. I don't know what the hell. I don't know if it's the applicator or what, but these are just so unflattering on my lips. This one's probably, oh no, that's not dried out. I thought for sure that would be. That looks really nice. But I applied this one here on my lips and I was like, what the hell is this? And for how like talked up these are, I was shocked. So I'm going to get rid of both of these because this one here is so old. That's the shade Dolce. That's the one that I always hear talked about is that one there. So I could see why that would be, I mean, appealing. But this one here, it's so patchy. It's so uncomfortable on my lips. So I'm going to get rid of both of those. But I could see myself like getting a mini size of these ones. But I mean, I have other shades that look just like that. So I'm going to get rid of both of those. This next one is going to be the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is from the Lace Chocolate Collection. <sighs> these smell so delicious. If you like the smell of hot chocolate, oh my god, you need these in your life. This is the shade 842 Candyman. Oh, like that has the Tulip Head applicator too. Oh my god, these are so good. So pigment. Just look at it. Definitely keeping this. My favorite thing about these though is it smells like hot chocolate. It's glorious. So we're definitely keeping this one here. Next one is from City Color. This is the Creamy Lip Stain. Oh my god, I don't even know how I got this, but I can already tell you I'm getting rid of it. Like, I just never reach for it. Like, it doesn't feel bad. I just think the packaging is what really turns me off. Like, it just looks like kids makeup. I believe somebody gave this to me, but I'm just like, okay, the shade's super cute, but I don't, I don't know, I don't ever reach for this. So we're just gonna get rid of that one. These two are running away from me. Let's do the NYX lingerie. Oh my God, these were so hyped up when they first come out. This is the shade Cabaret Show. The applicator on these, I'm also not really a fan of. It kind of reminds me of a like longer form of the unique ones like it just feels like it's like too much but you can get a really nice precise line with this I just never reach for it I'm not really sure why but the shade of that is really really pretty I actually might keep this one because I mean I would love to have more affordable options in my collection and I think for fall time I would really be into that uh let's talk about this hourglass oh my god what are these called the opaque rouge liquid lipsticks i'm assuming in the shade icon i got this in like a sephora favorites sampler type thing this is so old oh my god is that that's not it that's just going right in the <laughs> garbage because that is a hot mess i don't remember how i feel about that formula so i can't really judge it too much uh this next one is going to be the tardis lip paint in the shade pillow talk i don't even know why actually i do know why i kept this i really like the applicator on this one as well it has like that little divot where it sits on the lips almost like the dose of colors in the jeffree star i think i got this one just to be like a lightener type of shade but it's so just it's like sheer and it's patchy so i'm gonna get rid of this one i think i got this in like a boxy charm i'm also gonna get rid of this oh my god these aren't even available anywhere i don't think these are from obsessive compulsive cosmetics the lip tar i don't even know what the hell this is i thought i had an oh this one here another lip tar we're just gonna i'm not even gonna swatch them you can't get them anymore so we're just gonna throw those out that should tell you how old those are though this next one is going to be from femme couture the color drench matte liquid lipstick what shade is this does it have a shade name on here the shade dark side so this was sent to me i believe by sally beauty i think they gave me like a gift card so i could shop and just buy what i wanted the shade on this is so patchy it's a beautiful looking shade but it's just not it ain't it sis so i'm just going to pass this one right to the trash pile uh this next one is going to be the girl power liquid lipsticks it's a matte liquid lipstick from the beauty crop i have the shade i'm a boss oh my god the shade on that how it's spelled is so funny but this one i don't think i've reached for this once yeah i'm just i don't know the formula isn't knocking my socks off and it kind of looks a little bit patchy too so we're just gonna get rid of that one tell me you're not sitting there staring at this one right here though that l'oreal one like look how beautiful like i love shades like that i love 
just finishes like that, how it has that glossy looking finish. Oh my God. It kind of reminds me now of the Bite Beauty Kava, like the power, were they the power matte lipsticks? Oh my God, I have another one of these. This is the shade Date Night. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Here, I'll swatch it for you. I mean, why not? Oh. I mean, it's cute. It's like a rosy tone. I mean, it's cute, but we're just gonna, we're gonna get rid of that. I got that in BoxyCharm as well. Next one is going to be from Nude Sticks. I think this is another BoxyCharm. This is the Magnetic Lip Plush Paints. I have the shade Wakiki Rose. I think I'm gonna keep this one because I just got this recently and I haven't tried it yet. And of course it has the freaking paddle applicator. I just hate the paddle applicator, but I know a lot of people really like Nude Sticks, so that's gonna be the shade right there. I think it's cute. I'm gonna keep it, see if I reach for it, because again, it is relatively new for me. So I'll hang on to that one. And then we have the Galactic Matte Lip Paint, and I have the shade Posh. I never reach for this one either. How did, I think this is another BoxyCharm one. I always get lip products in BoxyCharm. That looks so nice though. I'm gonna keep this one, and it actually still smells good, so I'm gonna keep this one. I hear a lot of great things about Galactic. I just don't really purchase from them, but the finish on that just off of the swatch looks really cute so i'm gonna keep that one this next one is from collab makeup i have the shade kink i think these are just called like the matte addiction liquid lip color i'm running out of room on my hand but i remember liking these the applicator is kind of big on them but that's i mean it's not like a deal breaker the formula on these is nice i think i might hang on to this because this is relatively new as well and the shade on that's really cute too i'm gonna keep this one because that was one of my favorite products from Collab like that. And their, I would say their concealer were like my top two products from them. And then I also have the Plush Matte, are these like the liquid lipsticks from Makeup Geek? This is the shade Marriage Material. I don't reach for this that often anymore, but when I first got it, I loved it. And it's, yeah, it's definitely dried out. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, but that's the shade on it right there. I think the shade on it's really pretty. I actually preferred at the time this formula over the Showstopper, but I actually like the Showstopper over this formula now. But I don't know if either one are available anymore because after the whole rebrand and all that stuff, so I'm going to throw this one out actually right now. And then we have the Lip Sense Long Lasting Lip Color. I have the shade Bella. I think the shade on this is so beautiful. This is just not a formula that I reach for often. I think it's such a bizarre like idea and I think it feels so weird on the lips. Like I've done a wear test on these. I'll link it if I can remember. But it's like the shade on this is really cute but I never reach for it because I'm like this is a process to get this to wear. And I feel like I can get similar results from something that's so much easier to use. So this was sent to me but I think I'm going to get rid of this just because I was like I hate the smell of it. It is. It feels just so bizarre on the lips and it feels very drying for me so I'm gonna get rid of this one even though you have like the gloss that goes with it or whatever it's like I ain't got time for all that I just want to apply something to my lips and live my best life and then this is the bite beauty oh, what were these called these aren't available anymore I don't think this is the amouge bouche liquefied lip in the shade jicama I used to pronounce this like jicama or something like that I'm so pissed that I was so late to the game on these because the formula is so so nice like it is like a true liquid lipstick like it feels like they melted down a lipstick and put it in a liquid form it's so pretty because it has that nice shiny finish oh my god i'm such a fan of bites lip formulas like look at the shine it kind of reminds me of the l'oreal one how it's got that shine to it that's just what i like so i am going to keep this one because i bought this when it was on sale so it is relatively new for me you just can't get this anymore but i'm a huge fan of bite beauties just lip formulas in general. So a little roundup. These are going to be all the ones that we're keeping. And then these are all the ones that we're going to get rid of today. I think I did pretty good. I'm not going to count them right now because I've been doing this video for like a freaking hour now. So I'm proud of myself. I wanted to get rid of at least half. And I think that I definitely did that. So I might end up getting rid of a couple more between now and when you guys see my makeup collection video. So if you guys like today's video, don't forget to thumbs it up, subscribe if you guys want to see more declutters, more makeup videos, and a future makeup collection video for 2020. And that's it today. So if you guys like it, thumbs it up, share it out, all that fun stuff, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace!